they say love is all you need, except we all know it's just not that simple. Finding the one can be challenging. And then when you do, how do you keep the fire burning? And what happens if someone uninvited gets in the way of your happily ever after? Tonight, we begin with a very modern twist on the scarlet letter. Scorned wives seeking revenge against the women they call homewreckers. She may look like the typical suburban mom. My kids are my life. But you do not want to get on her bad side. Stay the hell away from my family. Go home to your husband. She goes by the alias Ariella Alexander. <sighs> Ariella's a little crazy. And she just might be the queen of online revenge. So I'm just exposing her right now. From the comfort of her own kitchen, Ariella exposes dozens of other women every day on her website, she's a homewrecker.com. She knew that he was married. She knew he had a young child and a pregnant wife. So now you have this place where you can really make her life a living hell. Which is exactly what happened to Dana Scott. I really, really am. Sorry about it. I really am. Her tears and apologies simply were not enough for the scorned wife who claims Dana almost ruined her marriage by having a year and a half affair with her husband. If Dana can't handle the humiliation of all of this, then you shouldn't have slept with someone else's husband. Insults, derogatory names, even death wishes. I hope you end up with AIDS. If hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, the social media age has invented a whole new way to fan the flames. It was just a way for me to vent. In Texas, Noemi Sanchez says she's found solace on the site after she claims to have discovered her husband of nearly eight years was cheating. And this came completely out of left field for you? Yes, just like that, I was in shock. Here I was seven months pregnant. While pregnant with his third baby, she says her husband told her he wanted a divorce. I checked the cell phone bill, and sure enough, there's pages upon pages of just one number. And I called it, and that's when she answered. Noemi was so upset, she decided to take revenge, posting personal details and photos of the woman she says stole her husband. She, AKA the alleged homewrecker, is now married to Noemi's ex-husband and has a three-month-old baby with him. Jenny. One year younger than Noemi's youngest son. It does hurt when I see my baby because he's never going to have the family that my other two kids had. <laughs> Why go on to this website singling her out? Uh, really, isn't it your husband that has the loyalty to you to, to be faithful? Right. I didn't say it was all her. I said that it was also him. And you were willing to forgive him? Yes, I was. Are you willing to forgive her? No. I just feel that you shouldn't mess with a married man. You know, you're taking somebody's uh, father away, somebody's husband. The site, which has more than 400,000 likes on Facebook, posts names, pictures, and often torrid details about these accused homewreckers and their alleged adulterous ways. I have no sympathy for women that purposely interfere in somebody else's marriage or relationship. For Ariella, the reason for creating the website is deeply personal. I'm still bitter, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very bitter. She says she's dealt with infidelity her entire life. I mean, a woman with a perfect life and a perfect relationship wouldn't say one day, let's sell my very successful business and start a website called cheesehomewrecker.com. That was just everywhere though, like I don't trust women, I don't. From classic songs like TLC's Creep, so I creep. TV shows like Beverly Hills 90210. She says infidelity has always been glamorized in Hollywood. I used to watch Beverly Hills 90210 and Brendan and Dylan were like my favorite couple. And then she goes away and her best friend is screwing her boyfriend. Oh my God, Brenda. I stopped watching the show. After that, I can never watch the show again. But it's what goes on behind the scenes that gets her even angrier. Celebrities doesn't matter, they're worse. They're out like in the public banging everyone else's husbands or boyfriends. Leanne Rhymes, she, she irks me. Over the past several months, Ariella has sparked a flurry of controversy, accusations of slut shaming, pitting women against women. Bethany has been one of her loudest critics. If someone slaps me and I shoot them, what does it accomplish? Other person dies. I remember thinking, okay, he's married, but he's kind of flirty. 
Dana Scott is adamant this digital punishment didn't fit her crime. At some point, he tried to kiss me. That's when he told me he was actually, you know, separated and they were talking divorce. Do you think he loved you? <laughs> I don't know. Now I don't know. I thought, I thought he did. About a year into the affair, Dana got pregnant with his baby. Were you happy? Yeah, I was happy because I've always wanted a baby, you know? I wasn't happy about the situation or the circumstances. Was he happy? Yes, he was happy. Did you think he was gonna leave her for you? That is what he told me. And what makes it finally end? Me realizing he's not gonna leave her. So I actually called and I just, I told her everything and I apologized. Was she crying or? No, she was very, very calm. Um, I was the one hysterical because I felt so guilty. Um, I guess I never thought about her family during all of this. Ariella isn't buying her version of events. Oh, I saw right through her. I don't know if anybody else saw right through her, but I am 100% positive that the only reason she called his wife was so she would throw him out and he would go running to her. It's women like that. She, she's the poster child for homewrecker. Are you a homewrecker? No. I'm not a home wrecker. He is a home wrecker. The home was already wrecked before I was ever even in the picture. You're so silly. Come on, a kiss. Dana had the baby alone while the father Got chose cold. to stay with his wife. But the scorned wife was still looking for revenge. What does the website say? That I'm a home wrecker. I'm a whore. Worst Colorful things. language <laughs> that I don't want to repeat. And that was just the beginning. Dana began receiving vicious messages from strangers online, bullying her and her infant son. Strangers are the worst. They are ones like, oh, she should die, kill her, calling my son a bastard, when they don't even have any idea about what's going on. But what I don't understand is why I'm getting all the brunt of this when he was the one, he's the one married to her. He's the one who made a vow to her under God. I wanna move on with my life. When contacted by ABC News, Dana's ex-lover's wife said the post was cathartic for her and that their marriage has healed since the affair. But Dana fears this website will hurt her chances at a good job. To think of a future employer Googling me, reading all of those comments on that website, seeing all of those things, who would want to hire me? Not surprisingly, Ariella has zero sympathy. People say, you know, I lost my job because of you. You didn't lose your job because of me. I didn't sleep with her husband. Do you want me to take my website down? Stop banging everyone else's husband? And I may consider taking my website down. For her to create some revenge website to teach women a lesson, who does she think she is? I mean, that's not your job. That's not your job to judge. Of course, Dana is just one of thousands of women bashed on the site. And when ABC News contacted these alleged homewreckers, they told us we could show their photos because they're innocent victims in a game of online shame. Like Brittany from North Carolina, who was viciously slammed on the site. She says the post is completely false and it's a form of cyberbullying. But shockingly, she's a homewrecker.com isn't breaking any laws. You can really do this. You can, and it, it is legal. Thank God to our First Amendment rights here. Um, Constitution. However, some revenge websites have been shut down. 28-year-old Hunter Moore has been called the king of revenge porn. He's currently facing criminal charges. But because Ariella doesn't actually write the posts and does not display any nudity, she's in the clear. I'm not responsible. I'm not, I'm not, I don't pick and choose the stories. And Ariella isn't limiting the online shame for ladies only. The site he's a homewrecker.com has been up and running for months now, though she tells us it's nowhere near as popular as the female version. Noemi Sanchez says she's moved on and is getting remarried, but she has no regrets and doesn't plan on taking her homewrecker post down anytime soon. I would like for her to say, look, I came between you guys. I'm sorry. It happened. That's that. That's all I want is an apology, you know, because she knows what she did. When contacted by ABC News, Noemi's ex-husband and his now wife said the website is based off opinion. They claim he and Noemi were separated at the time they got together, and they are tired of all the harassment. So if they're watching, is there a message? I guess to him, just step up and be a father to your kids. And to her, um, be careful because there's homeworkers out there.